beautiful ladies, maybe gentlemen. Uh, my name is Masha and I would like to welcome you back to my channel. And also I would love to wish you uh, early happy Valentine's Day. And I know the holiday is mostly about chocolates and flowers and dinner dates and greeting cards, but I would like to scratch all of that out and make this holiday about you and yourself and how you feel about your body and everything else happening in your life. And that is why today we're going to talk about six uh, mindset shifts that I live by, but I also teach um, all of my wonderful ladies that I work with that helped them develop a better relationship with uh, themselves, their body image, and um, their place, their phase in life right now, uh, whatever they're going through. So let's just get right in and let's start with number one. I will go over the first three. I don't wanna to take too much time to go over all of them. So let's start with the first three. The first step I think in anything in life is to build awareness. So what I mean by self-awareness, basically what we're doing is taking notes of the talk or mind chat, the chatter that's happening in our, in our heads. Right, so we are writing stuff down in the journal. We are also not just writing it down, um, but also listening and looking at it as a spectator or as a fly in the wall, right? Versus actually participating and then thought, if that makes sense. So basically, let's say you have a thought of, you know, I uh, don't feel that good today, I but I need to exercise, right? Or I really want to go out with this guy or my girlfriend, but I really don't feel that good about myself today. I don't want to wear any clothes. I don't want to, um, I just don't want to go in the closet and look for something to wear. So, so yes, basically cleaning out the closet doesn't mean actually just the closet. Maybe it's going in your kitchen and your contact list and your friends list, people you follow on Instagram. There's a lot of com comparisonitis going on on social media, YouTube. So it's really important to figure out what is really actually serving you. Um, and also people that are close to you creating boundaries with them as well. So you understand, um, you know, what if, if there's um, some allowing that you are doing in your life that is not serving you, maybe overextending yourself to too many people being there for everybody but yourself, right? So self-preservation starts with you setting boundaries first and also taking stuff off the plate that maybe does not serve you anymore. So I think that is our responsibility to do that because if we can't do it for ourselves, nobody else will do it for us right? Uh, the third shift that I would recommend um, all of my ladies and gentlemen as well to do to make true peace and um, find balance with your body image and how you feel in general is to own it. Uh, own it and fully trust your path, uh, whether it's in uh, your body development, body image, whether it's your business, your relationship, if you are uh, owning it and accepting it for what it is after you release and let go of what doesn't serve you, I'm not saying own it, meaning stay in a toxic relationship or stay in a body that um, you are not able to function as a human being, like restfully sleep at night, if you have sleep apnea, or if you can't run for a mile, I'm not telling you to own that or accept it because that is not obviously serving your, your best true self, right? What I mean is by owning it is recognizing things that you can't change, right? So there's certain parts about us that are gonna stay the how they're gonna how they're made by God by universe uh, that you know for example for me uh, no matter how many miles I run I will always have thick uh, legs especially my knees and my ankles um, that is the bone structure that I inherited from my grandmother my ancestry I can't change it so what am I going to do kick myself for the rest of my life and whine and feel sorry for myself that I don't look uh, you know like uh, Haley 
Bieber or whatever else, you know, Kendall Jenner that has super thin stems and um, beautiful as considered by society, ankles and bone structure, right? All of us are born with certain things that make us who we are. There's nobody else out there just like you, my dear. And it's hard to sometimes recognize those things about us that makes uh, us very unique. Um, there's no double copy of you in this entire universe, or maybe on this planet. Let's just stick to, to local, um, just this planet alone. So owning it and accepting it uh, helps you make peace with who you are. And in return, what that does, it creates more of a flow in your life. So when you make peace and accept who you are, surprisingly, you start to do things more for yourself that you actually enjoy, things that, act that nurture your body and um, that make you feel your and look <laughs> your very best, right? Owning and accepting yourself also builds trust in yourself. When you trust yourself, that is how you develop confidence. That is what I teach all my ladies. Without knowing who you really are, you are basically in this little bubble of unknown and trying to hold on to certain identities in life, whether it's being a mother, being a wife, being a girlfriend, being a sister, being a great employee, being a boss, babe right? Or whatever else identity you, you, um, you decide to put a, yourself under, right? But if you don't truly trust who you are, you will let other people, circumstances, events, jobs, things that are on the outside define who you are. And it's hard to trust anybody, right? If, if, it, if it keeps evolving and changing, boyfriends come and go, jobs come and go, children come and go, but guess what? You will always be with yourself. So that is why it's so important to trust and own who you are. What else did I wanna add about owning and trusting yourself? Um, I think I made all the points. And if you would like to uh, learn about the other shifts that I live by and practice that has to do only with yourself, nobody else, I would love to invite you to my online virtual 60-minute uh, webinar where I will share the rest of the shifts with you. We'll dive deeper in the other ones that I mentioned today. And um, it is my gift for you. It's completely free. So if you want to invite your girlfriend, your mother, um, I think this is a great time for us to celebrate ourselves, our uniqueness, and invest time into changing something that we can control, which is our mindset, um, our health, right? Hopefully there are circumstances in your life where you can work with your health and improve it. And that is why I think this um, event is going to be super uh, valuable to all of my ladies. So I will see you on February 12th, which is a Saturday. I will put all the notes on the under this video so you can join me and we can talk about the other shifts that I challenge you to make this year and um, to help you get on your journey to build more trust, more love, and see more beauty in who you are right now. Uh, I love you, and I will see you there.